Do you record using the keyboard instruments here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad? Well, if you do, you've probably noticed the sustain feature that we have in GarageBand, but you may not know exactly how to use it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to my Quick Jam series here on Studio Live today where in just a few minutes I tell you all about a very cool feature we have here in GarageBand. Now if you haven't caught up on the 60 plus episodes we've done before, they will be linked up there and down there and you can also subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. But for now, let's jump in and start talking about sustain here in GarageBand. Now if you're lucky enough to have a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI piano, it may have a sustain pedal built in or you may be able to plug in an external sustain pedal and that way when you play a record your instrument, you can actually hold the notes and sustain them by pressing down on the pedal and releasing to release the sustain. But in this video, we're going to jump into GarageBand and show you how to use sustain using just your iPhone or your iPad. We can use sustain in almost any of our keyboard instruments by going to the keyboard and tapping on more sounds. Now everything except our organs, which use a rotation selector, will have a sustain option. So let's tap on classical grand and show you how to use it. Our sustain button and slider is located in the top left here, just next to our octave control. We can slide to the right, which will lock sustain on so that when we play, we can just tap the keys and we'll still get sustain without sustain on we get a staccato sound, which is a very short sound. The other way to use sustain is to tap and hold on the button while we're playing the keyboard with our other hand. So here I'm holding the sustain with my right hand and tapping with my left. And now if I release, the sustain stops. So we can play staccato, tap and hold on sustain, get sustain, release and it stops. On devices which have 3D touch, we can also activate sustain by pushing harder on the screen while we're playing. So here's pressing lightly on the screen. And then if I press and hold a little harder, sustain is activated without me having to press the button. Let's now record a short piano part using sustain so that I can show you how we can use the edit mode to edit our sustain once it's been recorded. So we've recorded that in there. I just used 3D Touch to press a little harder to put sustain in some parts and not others so that I can show you how we can edit this in the edit window. So let's tap on the edit view here in the top left to come over to our track view. And now we can tap on the track, tap again and tap edit. And here we are in our piano roll view so that we can start editing this particular piano part. So you can see that we have our notes here, we have our high notes here that we're playing the chords and we have these low staccato notes at the bottom here, but you'll notice one more line here, which is at the very bottom here, and that is the sustain line. So if we tap on these, you can see that we can either cut, copy or delete each of these particular sustain entries that we have here in our edit window. So if we wanted to delete one of these, we simply tap, tap on delete, and that will delete that particular entry of sustain. If we now play back this section, to cut, copy and paste, we do the same thing. Let's tap on this item, we're gonna tap copy, and now if we wanted to paste this, we put our playhead in the spot that we want the sustain to go, we tap again, and we tap paste. And this will paste in an extra sustain on that section. To add additional sustain entries, we enable our edit mode by sliding this slider in the top left corner, and now we can actually tap in our sustain section and we can add in any additional sustain that we want to add into this track. We can also edit our sustain entries here in the edit window by tapping and holding and dragging left to right to reposition, or we can tap on the end to adjust when the sustain finishes, or tap at the start to adjust when the sustain starts. And one final tip when editing sustain, and that is if we overlap one sustain with others, what it will do is actually merge those together and it will hold down the sustain for that entire passage of music. And there you go, the very cool sustain function here in GarageBand. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to catch the last episode of Quick Jams, you can click the link on the bottom left, or if you want to catch up on the whole series, click the link on the bottom right. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner, and head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.